Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Now let's continue. First, let's shuffle the deck four times. Let's see about the current situation. What are the current energies? You think you were dealing with a person that was not honest with you, was not very transparent, a manipulator. You have been in grief and sorrow for quite some time after that disconnection. It was not easy at all. You may have even missed some very good new potentials because you were too focused in the past and also losing some hope in love into finding a better uh, loving connection. So that's the energies I'm getting right now. But what is affecting you in your subconscious? You have grown up very much uh, from this experience. It has been a very great learning experience. You seem to be more in power, more determined. Uh, you know better what you like and what you don't like. And I think you are going a step uh, and you are going to the next step about not tolerating any casual relationship anymore. You want stability. If you notice since the first day that there is no potential for commitment or uh, this connection being stable and serious, you may cut it off completely, immediately, without giving another chance or a second date. That's what I'm getting. But if we take this as an advice as well, it's important not to be so rigid and uh, not give opportunities or be more open to, to love again, to try to believe in love again. It's very important because you have been hurt a lot from what happened in the past. It's like a wound there, but uh, that was a good lesson. That's uh, That was a very good learning experience. I think you should be more open. And uh, sometimes it's not the intuition. It's the fears, insecurities that are talking. So when we think uh, that the gut feeling is speaking, maybe it is the insecurity, it is that wound of this past connection that is talking. But what happened in the past? What was that uh, main challenge? A person that was cold detached with you, you were offering them love, they were offering you uh, not that much uh, attention or not that much love, in fact. It was not balanced. It was not give and take regarding the emotions there expressed. I think that you were dealing with a person that was not expressing that freely, the emotions, the feelings, not being that vulnerable towards you. But how do you view the situation with them? You think you are dealing with a person that, okay, It's so, it's a shame to see that, it's sad, I meant it's sad to see that uh, there are feelings here and the other person is not appreciating those feelings. This could have been the best connection, the best ever. I, I think you had real deep feelings here with the Two of Cups and the Empress, or at least you were deeply involved there but they have the seven of swords they may have either done some sneaky behavior they may have lied or cheated 
or they were not quite transparent and uh, straightforward with you. And again, I'm jumping to that same conclusion as the as in the at, at the start of this reading with that king of once in the reverse, a person that was not that honest there. So you were offering them love and they were offering you unfortunately dishonest them. Not honest uh, thoughts about what they felt. Your fear is that uh, maybe that is uh, that chapter is already closed. Maybe there's no commitment there, no chances to to do something better with that connection. Maybe it cannot be moved further, a next step. That's why your hope may be to find a new, better connection, to start something, something completely new. You have been confused, stuck in your head, stuck into this past arguments, replaying them in your mind. You want to get free from all uh, this insecurities and confusion of the past. I think you hope to start a new, better connection. But let's uh, let's see them. What are their energies right now towards you? What are their energies? Being quite guarded. Not talking, not wanting to talk right now. It seems like they are ignoring you. They are looking for a new uh, connection. <clears throat> they may have been hesitant before, but they are not as much now. But they keep watching you from time to time. So there is some interest there, but maybe it's curiosity. Let's see at the bottom what do we have. The justice. What happened there was meant to happen, to put the balance. Otherwise, that situation would continue being very disharmonious and imbalanced. Your wish was to be with them. Meanwhile, they were hiding things from you. It was very difficult to forget, and maybe still it is somehow to forget the past. There were big dreams about building a happy, long-term relationship there. They were stubborn, you were carrying all the weight of the connection, and so on. So that's uh, those were the cards at the bottom of the deck. Now, I will continue this reading. Let's see more details uh, about them, about their feelings. Do they have any feelings? What kind of feelings? How do they view you right now? What are their intentions? What about the energies around each one of you? What about the mutual energies as well? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. If you are watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title, the description box will expand and there you can find the link of the extended video. Thank you for watching, see you the next reading and bye for now.